Y'all, welcome back to the Nick Gates Show. I am Nick Gates. Today, I don't know if y'all noticed before, but um, I could stand to lose a few pounds. So I'm going to introduce you to what's called the My Fitness Pal app. So stick around, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to go through it with you. Now, y'all, today I'm going to go through the uh, app that's called My Fitness Pal. So, basically, long story short, if you're trying to lose weight, uh, the number one goal is to create what's called a calorie deficit, so I'm told. Uh, but basically, what that is, is, like, okay, you, for your body type, your weight, you should eat, for example, uh, say 2,000 calories a day. Um, but if you want to lose weight, say it's a pound, two pounds a week, whatever the case may be, you only need to consume 1,700 calories, uh, including you know, what exercise you do, things like that. So this app is going to help you do that. So first things first, you got to do it. You've got to commit to doing this. I'm going to start myself. I'll update you throughout uh, as the time goes on. I wouldn't go from there, but I'm going to turn this around, do a uh, video showing you the app. We can go from there, y'all. All right. So, y'all, the MyFitnessPal app is just an app on your phone. MyFitnessPal right there. So, the first part of this I'm going to go through is just setting up your profile. So, in the top left corner, I'm going to click the uh, little icon and go underneath there where it says Edit Profile. And you go through, and obviously I've already had this uh, for a bit. Can't say I've really been successful with it, but this time's going to be different. So you go through here, you put uh, you know your height, date of birth, location, uh, down at the bottom, units, obviously we're in pounds. Most importantly, go to goals. So click the goals, and you're going to input your starting weight. Um, which is also your current weight and your goal weight. So I'll set that and just say I want to lose two pounds a week. And so you go through there and scroll down to the bottom. And you could even put, you know, workout, exercise goals, things like that, right? But I have already, you know, submitted just what I want to do flat out two pounds a week and I see. Well, that is. So we're going to go back to our main page, and you're going to have every day. This is what you, what you got to commit to doing. You have got to commit to doing your daily diary. So at the bottom, click your diary there, and so it tells you based on your goal, you want to lose two pounds a week. I need no more than seventeen hundred thirty calories. So, when you add your diary in here, so let's go to breakfast, we're going to add food, and uh, if you put stuff in here in the past, it's going to save it, so it's like uh, you don't have to search for it every day, but let's say this morning I had the Special K strawberry cereal, right, so I'm going to add that on there, um, then let's say, you know, throughout the day for lunch, you add food, um, I'm also eating these uh, what's called factor meals. I'll do a video on that later on. I'm going to show you all what those are about. Uh, but let's say today, for example, I had this uh, Caprizi chicken uh, for lunch. That's 590 calories. And let's go down through here. Uh, dinner. Let's add food. And let's say I had a monster sub, uh, which is from Subway, FYI. We're going to add that in there. So let's go back and then... Uh, you can add your snacks throughout the day. So I had a pack of Blue Diamond Almonds. And I had this uh, breakfast uh, avocado uh, toast thing there. So we're going back. We've added all that. Uh, you can even add exercise. You can add water in there. I mean, it, to my knowledge, it doesn't add or take away you know anything from your uh, calories. But you can add exercise in there. So let's say you did some cardio, right? And I went, uh, do the top one here, I did a, a walk. 
at about two mile an hour, slow pace, 22 minutes or so. I walk every day on my lunch break, actually. And so it, it's got this uh, save from here. So you just check mark that in the top right corner. And that adds it. So you see at the top here, the exercise takes away from your uh, daily uh, calorie goal. So you ate uh, 1,790 calories worth. I burned about 96 calories by you know walking over lunch break. So I have a calorie deficit, um, more so than what my normal daily would be, which you know maybe 2,000. I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyways. Once you do that, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you will complete the diary. So complete your diary. So that's done for the day. And it tells you, it pops up right here, it says, Every day, if it was like today, in five weeks, I would weigh 219 pounds, approximately. I weigh 230 now. So in five weeks, this is telling me that if I did this every day for five weeks, I'd lose about 10 pounds. Right? So about two pounds, two pounds a week. So the problem with that is... During the week, it's not a problem. It's, it's pretty much routine, right? The weekends, y'all, the weekends is what kills me. So it is a lifestyle change um, that you've got to pretty much get a, a family commitment on, on doing. So, or at least I do best you can. But anyways, so this gives you an idea. This is going to change depending on what you do every day. Um, but go down here and click Nutrition. This is very important, right? So say you're eating these certain meals, and you go to, um, you can go to calories, you can go to nutrients. This is what I want to show you. So the nutrients, this tells you on a, basically on a daily basis about what every type of nutrient you should have and what the goal is, right? So protein, carbs, fiber, sugar, fat. So you can see it tells you um, if you need more of something, if you need less of something, so, you know, protein's pretty good. Um, carbs, it says you can use a little bit more of that. Fiber, I got a little bit too much fat in these meals. And this is what you can pick and choose on a daily basis. So you can experiment with this. And so cholesterol, that's, that's really low. Sodium, that's a little high. So, again, check your meals. Check the ingredients, what you're eating. And so this time, instead of cereal, for example, uh, maybe it's better to have like an English muffin with peanut butter. Something like that. So, but you can pick and choose this stuff, right? And so you go through there, go to your macros. Um, now, y'all, I don't really understand exactly what macros are, but um, they say it's pretty important to follow. <laughs> so, so carbs, fats, and proteins. This will tell you exactly what you got. So, protein is right on. A little too high in fat uh, and and carbs I don't have quite enough so you can check this on a daily basis and so I'm gonna go back here this is something you can check on a regular uh, day uh, you can experiment try different meals try different foods the key is consistency so I'm gonna start this today and like I said I've done this in the past not been successful but I'm pretty much just tired of this so I'm gonna start this now I'm going to touch base with you in a month, two months, three months. After 90 days, we're going to really, really see the progress and go from there. Y'all, this is the Nick Gates Show. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time.